to uh, to solve some technical issues. Okay, uh, can you hear me loud and clear? I'm gonna just uh, yeah, I just uh, just give me one minute. Okay, I just got to stand up. Okay, all right. Okay, I just managed to fix the technical issue. Okay, wow. Okay, good. Uh, can everybody hear me loud and clear? If yes, uh, can someone say hello, Mr. Lu, or something like that? Okay. Hello, everybody. Um, can everybody hear me loud and clear? Can you all give a like if you can? If you can. All right, good. Okay, everybody, give a like so that I know. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. All right, cool. Hmm. Well, just now was uh because after I shared you. Mm, the video suddenly disappeared and as a result I got this problem okay oh no I think uh, the other video is on okay okay wait I don't know why I can hear my own voice here just give me a minute okay uh, testing one two three Let's see, one, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna off the Bluetooth. All right, cool. Okay, good, okay. It sounds very good, I can hear you. Okay, good evening, everybody. How how you pick the landed house in Malaysia? I made an offer, okay, I made an offer. This is, a, this is the third offer I gave already, yeah. Third offer I gave is a serious offer right now. Um, mm, very high chance uh, we will we will we will close it yeah okay uh, very very high chance okay um very good okay now let's do some casual talk first shall we uh, before i go into a very important topic so when i share about um, about a house in malaysia i want to say that um there's a there's a lot of people who not not a lot lah maybe a couple of people who think I'm flaunting okay think I'm howling ah uh, okay so I just want to say that there's nothing to howling this house ah uh, is not like uh there's some recently some influencer bought a gigantic uh bungalow or semi I don't know how much and literally showing off a house and things I like got into a lot of yeah there's nothing to show off in this one you know why. Because it's very, very, yeah, it's very, yeah, oh yes, um, uh, QI, you're right. Because the house that I bought, you know, is only a fraction of the house price in Singapore. And I want to be able to share with everybody that now that this is a possibility for you to strive towards for your retirement. I don't know why there's some people who are, there's some people who are, I don't know what's the right word to use, uh, you know, narrow-minded and insecure, right? They think of uh, this as flaunting. If I want to flaunt, I must well go buy a lender house in Singapore and go and flaunt to everybody if I want to howl in, right? Who, who am I going to prove to everybody, right? This right, this house, I the, the for example, the houses I've shown so far, I think uh, even the most expensive one is... Uh, so far, I see this about one point four five million plus the renovator. You know, quote is uh, three hundred thousand. It's one point seven five million ringgit. Okay, yeah, one point seven five million ringgit is how much? Uh, one point seven five million ringgit divided by three point three is uh, about half a million, half a million sing. Okay, yeah, some people say, but half a million sing is not money. Freaking hell! Now, but half a million dollars cannot buy a foreign flat. You know. There are some foreign flat right now, uh, is uh, $1.4 million or something like that, right? This is uh, one third the price. I can buy a bungalow in Malaysia. Yeah. Yeah, how will you see me, right? A cost of Mercedes here, yeah, please la, tell them if you like how will you boy, so until they die. Exactly, right? Okay, go slap your face, man. Well, what is that, how will you? Well, is the only right thing, right? Not, sir. But I think the most important thing is to share with everybody that that this is a possibility, a possibility. And I want to, in that sense, share my experience, right? And uh, this experience will go a long way. I, I guarantee maybe some people cannot, uh, quite a lot of people cannot like 
threw out maybe half a million dollars to buy a, a Malaysian house when you're young. But a lot of people, when they're old at 65, you know, yeah, it's easier, right? <laughs> Some people say, give more five room flat, just so for 1.2 million. You're right, okay? Uh, yeah, cannot buy my 30 euro forum HDB flat. Exactly, right? <laughs> What's that the howling about? Freaking narrow minded, go slap your own face. Yeah. I think it's important for me to share that this is a possibility, okay? Possibility. Now, some people say, oh, I cannot afford this kind of house, I'm still howling. Wait, okay? I just want to say this, okay? I just want to say this, that that you could rent out your HDB, let's say at $3,000. I think easily can get if you are quite a okay location. Don't even need a prime location. $3,000 for four five-room HDB. You take $1,000 out. Not even $3,000, $1,000 out. You can rent that that bungalow or semi-D that I'm, that I'm intending to buy. I kid you not, you can. It's only 3,000 ringgit only. Exactly. David Yo say, 450,000 sing dollar, can we buy at 950 square feet, right? Yes. So what is there to be freaking narrow minded? You agree with me, agree with me, click like, yeah. Okay. Yes, foreigner can own land in, in Malaysia. It needs to be above 1 million ringgit. 1 million ringgit. Yes. 1 million ringgit is less than $300,000, you know. It's about $300,000, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Well, I didn't... Yeah, so, so you know, even if I buy a $2 million, $2 million ringgit house, uh, let's say a $2 million ringgit house, okay, $2 million... Two million ringgit. Now I'm just trying to see. Divide by three point three one. It's a six hundred thousand. What the hell can six hundred thousand dollars? If it's a two million ringgit, uh, it's a freaking mansion, you know. Yeah. Okay. Two million ringgit, freaking mansion. Uh, you can rent that for maybe four thousand ringgit. Uh, rent. Uh, not don't need buy. These are all possibilities. I'm gonna share with you guys. Yeah. You agree? Yeah. Yeah, so how to how learn this kind of thing? Oh, how there's nothing how learn is embarrassing and sia sui kaki. You know how learn this kind of thing. Share with everybody what is the what is the possibility possibility for everybody. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, so okay, so yes, I just want to say this. Okay, yeah. Uh, hmm. Okay, we we'll talk about the, the the Malaysian house later. But today, we since we're on the topic of uh. Topic of retirement, uh, I want to share something very interesting. Okay, very interesting that one is uh, that I I actually encountered, uh, actually discovered is the word. Okay, and uh, the the inspiration is from a video, a YouTube video uh, that actually was an interview. Uh, someone interviewed our ex uh, Prime Minister, Mr. Lee Kuan Yew before he passed away, in fact, before even his wife passed away, about aging, about retirement. This interview was an audio interview, okay? So there's no visual about it. I've watched, I guarantee, at least 90% 90, 90 or maybe more of our Prime Minister's speech, huh? all the way when he was in 30s, huh? all the way till, till he, he passed away. Uh, and I've never come across uh, this uh, this interview before. And fortunately, someone someone uh, recorded it down, and I posted the link in the description. Okay, but I've added on something. So you know, let hear me out first, and then I'll talk about it. After that, we talk about Malaysian house. Okay, how about that? Okay, all right, cool. All right, good. There, are, I his point I will cover in the in the last two points. I'll talk about my first two points first. So there are four must have, okay? Four must have. I will answer, please hold all those questions, okay? Yeah. So, so uh, please, please hold all those questions. Uh, you know what, Joseph, you have a problem with me, is it? You know what? <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, yes, all right, good, okay? I'll just ban him, very simple as that, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, so there are, um, there are four must-have for, for retirement. The first two points, okay? The first two points uh, are actually my points. The next two points are Lee Kuan Yew's points, okay? So I want to put that in. 
And everybody, please give a like, please. Everybody thinks that everybody thinks that uh, you must have enough money for retirement, and that's enough. Money is a necessary but not sufficient condition. It's a necessary but not sufficient condition uh, for retirement. Okay, so how much money do you need? Okay, how much money do you need for retirement? No right or wrong in this. I give you a lot of people say, oh, you need to have, uh, you know, 75% of your last drawn pay. You need to have this, you need that. You need to have enough money so that every day you have no worries of eating whether chai peng, you know, chicken rice, cha kway teow, whatever, have, uh, enough for medical, you know, whatsoever. I give you a very high level rule of thumb, okay, high level rule of thumb. Your wealth, okay, the wealth, uh, your wealth, it should be beyond subsistence. Cannot be cannot be just retired just for enough food. Yeah, not enough food. I'll talk about all those JB houses later after my talk. Okay, let's have a discussion. That is a very hot topic. It's a very interesting one. But what I want to say is this. Okay, what I want to say is this. This is what I think we should all work towards. Okay, all work towards. It should be beyond subsistence so that nah, you can say this Chinese phrase, I'll translate it in English, okay? You need to be able to say when you retire that as uh, right? which simply means that you got enough money uh, to solve foreseeable problems, okay? You got enough money to solve problems that money can solve. There's no point at this age, uh, you know, when you are in your 65, 70, whatsoever, you have to flaunt. Yeah. Who are you going to prove, right? But, but very important, okay, very important uh, is to be able to have enough money to solve all money that uh, that money is solvable. Some things money cannot solve. Uh. Cancer, fourth stage cancer. Whatever, how much money you have also useless. Yeah, the one you cannot solve. Uh, suddenly you have a stroke, uh, and then you never get treatment fast enough, and you are you are really have a tough time. For example, so a lot of these things money cannot solve, but a lot of things money can solve. Money can solve. Uh, you should have enough wealth to do that. Okay, uh, so 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 it is it is very important for us to reach a stage of wealth where we can say, which basically means that. If the problem the encounter money can be solved, I will solve it. Okay, so that's a high level rule of thumb. Okay, and, uh, and it's very vague, very high level, but it is important, right? So wealth when your retirement uh, is not so much for luxury or just subsistence. It's because when you are old, you're gonna have a yeah. Okay, you're gonna have a lot of problems, Mister Lu. I use this phrase to nego a helper when I manage to. P and D then. What's P and D? Yeah, okay. Anyway. Now that's, so money is important and everybody is just working towards money. That's wrong. Retirement got at least four aspects. Four aspects. Uh. Two from me, two from Lee Kuan Yew, okay? The second aspect uh, is you must have, everything you must have health is not enough, okay? You must have health, fitness and vitality. Health, fitness, and vitality, they are superficially the same, fundamentally different. Okay? Do you know you can have good health, but you got no vitality? Yeah, you got no sickness at all, but you got no vitality. Sien, sien, every day, like no energy. You know, no, you wake up, no energy, you see, and just, just, just fatigue. How do you feel this way? A lot of you all in working life feel this way, right? Who agree with me? Click. You are healthy. Your cholesterol is okay, you know, your blood pressure is okay, your uh, blood pressure, but your, your sugar level is okay, but you wake up with no, no vitality, right? Worst case, uh, you've got all this problem, yeah? So, so vitality is important, okay? And fitness is important, okay? So, you need to have good health, vitality, and fitness. So, health, try not to have sickness and all, this, all sort of thing, right? So, I every day also see it. Mm. Uh, I'm going to give you some tips. First of all, I have 
the first thing you need to do uh, is to slim down. A lot of your a lot of your overweight is a Singaporean problem, okay? A lot of your, a lot of uh, Singaporeans are, are overweight and uh and and it is a it is a serious problem, uh, okay? And um and I have uh, I have actually you know um uh introduced you all the concept of of intermittent fasting, low carbohydrate and walk a lot, okay? Now I kill not now. Recently, more and more people have written to me, and actually said now that uh, the 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 methodology that I taught them, the strategy I taught them, has helped them. Right? A lot of people have lost ten over kilogram. I kill not. Okay, and uh, and a lot of people have lost ten over kilo ten over kilogram. And there there was one that recently wrote to me. He was uh, he was ninety nine. Is uh, done exactly, uh, or not exactly, but close to what I said. He's dropped to uh, eighty nine, and he's still working on it. Right, very important. And uh, I'm still encouraging more and more people uh, to do all these things. Right, so, so very important. Now you are even your desk bound job. Right, you know, take time. You know, to 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 do the walks and exercise and low carbohydrate meals. Very very important. It can be done. Okay, now just to show you, uh, okay. Me a bit extreme, uh, a bit fanatical about it. I'm just gonna show you, okay? Now, uh, this oh, wow, this is too bright, okay? I'm just trying to set an example to everybody, you know, how you can do it. It's not easy, but try to set an example, okay? If I want to flaunt this flaunting, okay? This is an average steps a day, uh, 18,000, okay? 18,000 steps a day for last one month. Last one month, 18,000 steps a day. You know, it goes so high. 15,000, 10,000 is better than nothing. In terms of uh, distance-wise, okay? In terms of distance-wise, every day I walk 13 kilometers. 13 kilometers. No kidding you, okay? Now, if, if okay, if you think that that was last one month you can sustain, uh, let me show you, okay? This is the last one year. Daily distance. Daily distance, 12.1 uh, kilometers. Really, daily distance. In case you think... In case you think that uh, this is just one year, okay, I'm gonna flip, ma. Okay, I'm wait. I'm gonna f okay. Wait, uh, this uh, this one year, uh, okay. I'm gonna just by one year, okay. It's still twelve kilometers a day, uh. yeah. Right now, me a bit extreme. You can't do twelve, right? Do five, do six, do seven, whatever the number is, right? You will go down tremendously, really, really go down tremendously. Okay, I I just show you uh, this this thing cannot cheat. Uh, I don't have to cheat. Okay, yeah, maybe I cheat one or two days. Ah, uh, cheat for two years. You must be kidding, man. Yeah, okay, but with that, nah, uh, then you go down from my. <laughs> I show you this many times. I'm gonna show you again. I love doing. Now this one is howling. Okay, this one's howling. I want to flaunt this so that everybody uh, can be inspired. Okay, this one is just. Plain how yeah. Never mind. Uh, okay, the critics can uh, go slap their own face. But I want. I really want to show you. Uh, okay. Uh, this again. Okay. Uh, where have my and yeah, yeah. This one. This one. Okay. This. Uh, this was me. Uh, this was me. Okay. Yeah. Really. This was me. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, this is two thousand. This two thousand and twenty. Right. This 2020. Can you see now? This was me, okay? No kidding. Yeah, 2020. Okay. So I climb upstairs. Uh, oh, someone wanna see this again. Okay, I'll show you again. Uh. Yeah, this is me. Uh. Yeah. This one I damn flaunting. I see the howling. I never mind howling this one. Okay. This one uh, I really, really want to encourage everybody. Yeah, uh, okay. I same size as you to 2020. Price action. You can do it. You really can. A sumo wrestler, yeah. It's damn disgusting. I look at myself. I cannot accept myself right now, okay? I want to inspire everybody. I don't care whatever haters are there, whatever, no. I don't give a shit about what you say, but I just want to say that for those people, I'm going to tell you it can be done. It can be done. It can be done. Yeah? It can be done, okay? You cannot... I did it rapidly, but I had the advantage of COVID, right? You can take time. Take time. Slowly go down, go down, go down, go down. I maintained my weight for two years already, right? Yes. Yeah. 14 hours or 16 hours. Just keep breakfast, basically, right? Go do it, okay? I used to climb upstairs. Uh, I 
pen in my heart beat beat very fast. I got no breath. I can't even bend down. My puiba is so you. That Mr. Lu, I met you 2019. Your progress was inspirational. That me does. You saw me, that was that my size, right? That was my size, right? Okay. Yes. So I want to encourage everybody. Okay. I want to encourage. Okay. I want to encourage everybody that that you uh huh? bad news ABSD increased with effect 24th of April 2023. Really? Really? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, ABSD. Okay, uh Singapore. Is it news came out? Oh yeah. Oh wow, this 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 big news, huh? Sorry, yeah. We just hear this news first, okay? This news, then we talk about my cooling measure. ABSD for foreigners double to 60%. Wow, okay? 60%. The government is levying higher ABSD in a bid to cool down property market. I told you, uh, Singaporean have to pay a 20% ABSD, okay? On a second residential property, now they pay 17 Citizen have to pay 30 for their third and uh, up from 25, okay? Uh, for Singapore PR, uh, for purchasing third and subsequent, uh, sorry, second, a similar rate applies to Singapore PR buying their second property and a government is also raising for a third and four. Anyway, the ABSD for foreigner buying any residential property is doubled from 30% to 60%. Woo! Hmm. ABSD for entities or trust buying any property except for developers will be raised from 35% 65%. Wow, this is a sledgehammer, man. Right? This is a sledgehammer. Okay? Very good. Very good. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not saying very good. Uh, uh, no, I say it's very good for economy. The property price increase gone up has n only for those people who has two property and above uh, will, will benefit, which is a fraction of minority of, of the Singaporean. But for majority of people, it doesn't uh, it doesn't really uh, benefit, okay? Yeah. You quickly go JB and buy up. Uh, yeah. Okay? Hmm. Sorry, yeah. Uh. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Let me uh let me go let me go on with my when I talk then later tomorrow we do one on property it's going to be very exciting eh? okay so uh let's go back to uh, to health okay so reduce your weight exercise a lot today uh, my sugar level was sorry my sugar level when I was fat was pre diabetic you know now it's low it's low sometimes I feel a bit too low okay so my BMI went from about 29 now to about 24 point something. Yeah, something like that. So it's near, it's, it's, it's okay now. It's okay now. I want to give a tip, okay? And the borderline right now, I, I, I've, I've been eating it. So, okay, I, I potentially might, uh, no, I'm really selling wherever, wherever I'm in Korea, but I thought I want to share everybody. For those people who want vitality, uh, vitality, there are quite, quite a lot of products out there. You can take Zhong Yao. Okay, you can take Zhong Yao. But the one that I really find really helpful is ginseng peel. Ginseng peel, okay? I used to buy the ginseng peel. Uh, I used to buy the ginseng peel that are from the Chinese uh, TCM in Singapore. Uh, one bottle like this, wow, damn freaking expensive. Uh. Close to $800 or something like that. They actually grind the powder, put some cordyceps, and uh, they call it Sida Tian Wang. What's Sida Tian Wang? Uh? Uh, what Lingzi and all those things are uh, one bottle uh, that in they make the small capsule, eight hundred dollars. Uh, I eat for four or five years. I cannot finish because it's too expensive. Uh, until I know like want to die here, then I came to Korea and I found out. Yeah, uh, you can buy one bottle for fifty, sixty dollars. So I start whacking. I start whacking all those ginseng pill. Very, very good. Yeah, very, very good. Okay, now vitality is amazing. Man, where's my pill? Uh? Mm. Okay, I, I show you. Okay, it used to take. I used to take those twenty one percent. Then I increased to a hundred percent one. This one, this one, one big bottle. Uh, every day I take two of this pill. Very fantastic. Yeah, hundred percent ginseng. The energy level is very. 
there are other TCM medicine that helps you give you vitality whatsoever. Yes, the Korean one is very heaty. That's why they don't encourage 100% one. But I take the 100% one because I'm used to it already. But I, I gave some people, let them try the 20% one. They say no energy impact, but some people have, you know. Well, anyway, uh, yeah, watch my live video while walking. That's great, yeah. So I'm trying to see whether I can import them. If I can, I'll let you, let you know, okay. But, but ginseng peel, all these are very high. It's not just ginseng. You go to the Chinese doctor, a good Chinese doctor, I got one uh, called Guan An uh, in Jurong West. If you want, I can try and find contact for you. This is Huang Yi Si. I, I've got no business dealing with him. I, I see him for 20 years. He's got a lot of all this, uh, you know, pooping, all this kind of thing. Uh. The energy level comes back tremendously. But the best I so tested so far was ginseng pill. But anyway, and, and I've seen Koreans here, uh, Koreans here, ape ape, uh, 70 years old, uh, Oh, their energy level them high. Then I ask them how, say ginseng pill. It's like an acceptable thing. Uh. They have this liquid form that they eat, drink. Oh, what? <laughs> Freaking bitter. Uh. I just uh, try them before. I cannot take that. Uh. I take the pills. Uh. Never mind. Energy level lower than them. Never mind. But, uh, but anyway, mm, I will I will tell you all about the, the ginseng pill when I when I when I find more about it, okay? Mm, anyway. Uh, so so health, you must reduce your weight and exercise. That is non-negotiable, non-negotiable, okay? And the second thing is that uh, you must have health, fitness, and, vi and vitality. The great thing is that uh, almost everybody can walk. Not everybody can run. Not everybody can swim. Oh, yes, Tonkat Ali is also very good, yeah? Now, a lot of people think Tonkat Ali is for, you know, sexual performance or all this kind of thing, uh. Yeah, but it's more than that. Oh! Shindo say you lost enough kilo, 11 kilo so far. He was uh, one of the people who followed me. Let's give him a round of applause, right? 11 kilo, you know? Yeah, that's amazing, right? 11 kilo, right? So, guys, it worked. I tell you, I'm sharing with you that you can do it, okay? You can do it. Let's give him a round of applause, All right? I He only do 8,000 steps a day, yeah. 8,000 steps a day. I do... You saw how much I do, 18, 19,000 19, steps, you know, crazy, right? Yeah, so, so if you want a good retirement, okay, you want good retirement, you must have good health, good vitality, and good fitness. You must have a, no, you retire, you feel like dying, yeah, no point, right? Yeah, okay. Henry so say, you know, yes, you work, I try to. So I want to encourage everybody, you can do it. So two conditions for, two conditions for, for retirement so far, I've got to talk about two more. Number one is wealth enough to say that which means that, you know, I want to live enough to have enough wealth to say that all the problems that money can solve, I can solve. Okay? That's very, very important. Eh? Wow. Henry So say that 3.5 weeks, he lost 4 kg. Guys, right? Guys, really, I'm trying to inspire everybody to live good now, to be young again, really. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you all. I'm gonna tell you all this uh, story. I just now told uh, you know people at Siu Ching and Chiling. You might have heard it just now. Um, you know, uh, you know, one uh, a few. I was I, I was uh, I, I met up with some business friends and things like that. I haven't seen this uh, this company. Is uh, company is called Una Unabis. It's a wonderful IoT company, and. Um, I went, I haven't visited them for a year or so. So um, the founder came back from uh, France and things like that. I met up with him, brought me to his office. And I know this company for a long time, really, since the inception. And I was saying hello to everybody. And then uh, the founder, when he saw me, was like, wow, Lou, you begin to look like more like your son, Benjamin, right now. I said, che, of course, you're very good. Like, very good la. But this is real. Uh, this is real. I uh. cannot believe this. Uh. Then I went to uh, when the office shook hand everybody. I know everybody. Uh, this guy who's a French guy shook hand with me. Hi, my name is David. I was like, "Why are you saying that? I know you for many years." Like, David is Lou. Then you're like, Lou, Lou, what happened to you, Lou? Wow, you are. What happened to you? You know, it's like you know how the hell you look so young, right? Right. So I tell you what, uh, that that is that is a. I tell you, I damn shook. Uh, the feeling is damn shook. I'm telling you, uh, okay, 
that uh, that slimming down uh, really regains a lot of uh, regains a lot of your youth. On top of that, you know you have Korean skincare which I do a lot. Okay, I went to plant my hair. Already, but I feel good, right? Yeah, my vitality is amazing now. You saw I did fifty push up with my son. Yeah, I did. Feel, I know it's half standard like shit. You know, anybody go to my my uh, TikTok channel or my you know I did fifty push up my son. Fifty push up at fifty years old. Try that, okay? Yeah. So my point is that you know, health, vitality, and fitness shit important, right? You you this will be a great retirement when you do that. I'm gonna go as long as I can towards that direction, okay? The next two points, okay? The next two points that I just that I want to cover are Mr. Lee Kuan Yew's point. Where I listened to his talk two or three times, this one, okay? And I copy down notes, uh, and anybody don't have the time to 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 watch that, I will listen, okay? Uh, all right. So the first one is relationship. Yeah. Now you can prepare for wealth, prepare for health, and everything. You must prepare for relationship. There's a Harvard study that is co conducted over, I think it's sixty or eighty years already. Very, very one of the longest study. Uh, they've changed the director uh, of the project for four times. Hey guys, give a like, please. You know this is a very important topic. We want more people to listen to this. Okay. The best predictor of long, long life and a happy life is relationship. Relationship, relationship. Okay. That you have to prepare for relationship. You know, you cannot just say that. You know, uh, oh, relationship, right? The relationship goes beyond just with your spouse, which is very important, right? Who agrees with me? Give a like. Relationship must go with your neighbors, your friends, your church friends, your business friends, or whatsoever. You know, all this, even the people that you meet downstairs, the uh, the coffee shop, uh, you know, the coffee shop uh, person that you talk to, whatsoever, have good relationship with people around you from all those uh, who are just acquaintance all the way to deep. It's very, very important, right? Very, very important, right? Now, you must build deep relationship. And, uh, and uh, you know, those people who has got uh, strong connections with religious organization, with sports or you know friends or whatsoever, is very very important. Very very important. And uh, I met someone who lost uh, you know who lost a very close person uh, in his life, uh, but he got connected with friends, khaki, you know, sports, whatever, all people around him, and he really bounced back really fast. You know, really tough. So, so. One of the best predictor of a great retirement life is how much social connection you have, and that takes time to build. You know, you cannot wait until you retire then you build relationship. You got no more energy already, right? Do you need money to maintain relationship? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay, it's about how much you commit to give to the relationship. A call and say how are you, whatsoever. You know how things are, how genuine you are. I tell you the price to pay for good relationship, authenticity, genuine care and concern. That one is uh, important, right? So I, I strongly advise you, uh, everybody to pay attention to it. It's a very, very important point. Strong, firm, good relationship, right? Solid with all your relatives. Or so, but don't always go connect with only old people. Then if by the time you reach 80, 90, so most of them are died already. Also connect downwards to young people. Very, very important. Extremely important. Okay. Now, the last one is something that is controversial. You're right. Someone said that, you know, Ului have many friends, Bolui, no friends, not many. Then those friends are not true friends. They are exactly correct. Yeah. Right. Exactly correct. Right? So, you know, you got, you got to get the right friends. Okay. The last one is extremely important. Eh? Is that your life needs a challenge constantly, constantly needs a challenge and and a purpose. Now, someone say, "Oh, you know, I have a purpose. I take care of my children, whatever." Right? I basically most of my most human find meaning and purpose in faith, in getting a challenge through work. Okay, through work. 
Uh, I met Mr. I met my mentor, Mr. So Chining, recently, right? He retired from CPF board as a deputy CPF, a uh, deputy CEO of CPF board. He's very senior, eh? He's very young, extremely young. And he retired at a very young age. And then he, you know, really get himself involved with a lot of very exciting life, you know, social, uh, social uh, communities and things like that, you know, in a very giving. He's taking a course in counseling and things like that, right? He gives himself a lot of challenge. He freaking got to write essay, you know, right? Write essay, study, and all this kind of thing. He gives himself a lot of challenge. And I thought it's very interesting, right? Um, and let me quote Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, okay? He says that you need a stimuli to your brain, right? Don't have your horizon closed on you. Everybody's working towards retirement so you can tour the world, you know, and just stop working and do a community service whatsoever. That's no, that's kind of stimuli. You need challenge, yeah? You need some stress, some worry whatsoever. Constantly go on. You notice that a lot of businessmen live very long. A lot of business, Look at Li Ka Shing. Wah, piang, 90 over years old. Rupert Murdoch. Then freaking old, right? You look at, uh, you look at, uh, you know, all, a lot. Uh, just say a lot, right? Why? Why? Because they have all a stimuli in the brain. Yeah. If you believe, and this is a quote from Mr. Li Kuan Yu, okay? If you believe that at 55, you're retiring, maybe now I say 62. 62, you're retiring, read books, play golf, drink wine, then you're done in. Right? A lot of people go and go and retire, then do nothing. That's a formula for death. For death, okay? Statistically, all the people who retire and lead sedin sedimentary, sediment, sedim, sedimentary life, they pronounce it correctly, the pensioners die off very quickly. This is statistically statistically proven, okay? They are, you know, even if you go out and travel around the world for two months, you know, for around the world, sorry, you go out and travel around the world non-stop. After two months, uh, you know, with nothing to do, no purpose in life, no stimuli in your brain, you will just degrade. The human being needs a challenge, okay? Now, Singaporeans who told Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, say, I'm retiring. I, you know, he say, I said to them, you really want to die quickly? If you want to see sunrise and sunset, you must have a reason. You need a stimuli to keep going, right? So I, I seriously think that everybody should have a, you know, have some chance. My father, 85, is helping my business, you know? Yeah. You do not very serious work, but it's 85 years old. He cycles around, do some admin work for us and things like that, right? Very important. He takes care of my kid for so many years, right? So I strongly encourage everybody to contain, you know, uh, continue. You got a plan for this. You, know? you cannot say that, oh, I, I just don't solve it. You got a plan for it. So right now, I'm not saying this is the right formula. It's not the right formula. But I'm telling everybody, okay, telling everybody that what I'm doing, I just share some, and you can find your own formula. I invest in a lot of a uh, lot of companies. I get a lot of, get involved myself in a lot of companies, huh? and I make sure that uh, these companies uh, I uh, put, uh, I get involved as advisors, so that my brain has a challenge. Yeah, okay, and because they are now my companies, as long as the company can last, I have a job. Yeah, I don't need to worry of people firing me. So. Please, please, okay, please, you know, do not, do not, you know, give yourself a career suicide, you know, because a career suicide, a, a, rather a life, 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 uh, suic uh, a life challenge suicide will lead to a, will lead to a life, uh, life shortening, whatever, okay? So, so four points, okay, four points are huh? extremely important. Good evening, okay? The first point is you need to have wealth to the level that you can say that you You need to have that kind of wealth, okay? Second point is you need to have health, fitness, and vitality. Health, fitness, and vitality. No point having health and you got no fitness and no vitality, right? It's good health, but you got no energy to do whatever you want, okay? Of course, no point having vitality, but you're going to die very quickly, right? So you need to have all this. The idea is Reduce your weight, exercise well, okay, live well, you know, empower yourself with some uh, some tonic you know, to uh, energize yourself. 
start building great relationship that can enhance your life to long life. That relationship building can take decades, you know. You don't build friends, huh? only the time when you, you retire, okay? And last is that constantly give your life a challenge, a stimuli, a purpose and work. You, have, you cannot stop that, okay? Four points, okay? Cool? Any comment? And then we can talk about we can talk about the ABSD, we can talk about Malaysia House uh, hunting. All right, which one are you talk about? Okay, government just announced news measure. Yes, we talk about that, okay? Foreigners, 30%, 60%, right? Just wag the foreigners uh, real hard, right? You know what's going to happen? The foreigners will still buy. Hmm. The foreigners will still buy. And guess what? After they buy, Singaporean government, Singapore, Singapore might guess, of course, there was some impact, but Singapore government will profit tremendously. The China, Chinese are coming in huge wave. This, there are some... Some the government say that these three thousand five hundred uh, Chinese uh, million multi millionaires are coming down to Singapore is BS. Uh, okay, maybe it's not three thousand five hundred. At least one thousand, uh, My best guess, maybe two thousand. Yeah, they're coming up and lifting up the economy, man. They bring a huge amount of money, huge amount of money, man. Huge amount of money. If your life, they are escaping China, whatever the political pressure or whatever. When they come, uh, if your life depends on it, you care whether it's a 30% or 60%. Yeah. Hmm. Right. Wait, wait. Something stuck in my teeth. Mm. Mr. Lu, do you think in the consideration of neighbors when purchasing a house, you should? Mm. But this part is difficult, right? This part is element element of luck now. Okay. Yes. Mm. Very difficult to tell. Uh. Okay. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Lu, the Johor house, 1.4 million, just buy la, renovation, 300, nice retirement, home, living standard good. Uh, that is a, one of the serious contender that I'm thinking of. One, but I just, a bit, seeing that I gotta redo everything, but that is one serious contender, okay? Yes. Um... Many I know retired happily 20 years in the 70, no work, no business. Okay. Um, I believe there's some, 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 a lot of activities in their life. Okay. Mr. Lu, where you are now? How got no screen? I'm in Korea right now. Okay. I'm a Korea hotel right now. Okay. But just now, a lot of questions on JB. Yeah. You can, can ask now or not. Okay. Um, Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, considering a new change or the process of remodeling my new house is, um, yeah, I, I'm. No Singapore car can buy JB house. Why not? Okay. My view is this. Okay, and this is just you know. Now with this, <laughs> the RTS link is gonna build by uh, by two zero two six. Okay, they're gonna connect. And uh, with Singapore, probably high, house prices so high, you know, everything so high. You know, there's going to be a lot of people forced to forced to retire in Malaysia. And the most likely place is in JB. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying that other places like Penang, Malacca, KL, are no good. Okay. But proximity-wise, no horse run, uh, JB. Okay. So, I'm... You know, I also, if Mr. Lu is thinking about that, and I surely can afford a retirement in Singapore, right? But, if, you know, I can think about that. A lot of people think about that, yeah. Uh, no car in JB live in places where you can grab easily. Oh, JB grab is actually quite easy to get now. Mm. Mr. Lu, I think you show us about four JB houses so far. Which one are you thinking of and buying and what are consideration other than cost? Mm. Visa is a... Uh, Visa is a consideration. Mm, now I'm actively looking at MM2H. Um, I'll talk about it, but briefly, okay? My Malaysia, Malaysia, my second home, MM2H, that visa is freaking complicated, okay? It's not just money. Eh? Some people just think it's just money, okay? It's not just money, yeah? First, you got to come up with a million dollars. Second of all, you must prove that you're 40,000 ringgit from overseas of of, uh, of income. There's a lot more than that. Eh? There's an annual fee. Okay, it's not just money, okay? 
you must stay at least 90 days a year in Malaysia. I'm going to have problem with that rule. I'm traveling like crazy. How do I have 90 days there? Yeah. So, MM2H will be a problem. I will probably find a way to uh, get a work visa. Okay. Mm. Mr. Lu, why don't buy a property in Singapore rent now and use a rental leave in JB? Okay. After that, Singapore house can, what, buy a second house and kena ABSD? <laughs> right. Mr. Lu will buy a yacht to avoid a jam. Oh, talk about yacht. I got this story. You all must listen, okay? I've got a, I got a close relative uh, who was previously a captain of a ship, right? He, he's, he's way retired right now in the 70s. He's got, uh, he's got a few yachts and he trade yachts. Uh. There was once upon, uh, there's once, uh, I, we, me and my family sent his yacht and he's, he just came back from overseas after two weeks. Then he started engine and wanted to sail the yacht out. Guess what? The yacht went out about 20 or 30 meters and it died. The, 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 the engine is running, but the ship cannot move. I was wondering why, yeah. Uh. Then die, you know, what to do, right? So Mr. Lu, uh, at the time was still plump and fat, uh. You know, jump down water and tuck the yacht, uh, tuck the, with a rope, uh, tuck the yacht, uh, swim, and it's only about 20, 30 meters. Uh. I swam for half an hour to tuck the yacht back, okay? It's a big yacht. Uh. Yeah, just in case some people don't know, uh, yacht, you can, yacht can got zero friction when you are in the water, but it still takes a lot of time. Uh. So I pull until I die. So once I pull it to the to the shore, then uh, we took a, I dive underwater, and by the way, I'm a good swimmer. I dive underwater with a torch light uh, to see what happened to the engine. Guess what? Guess what? Muscles. All crowded around the engine, the propeller. What about maybe 20 kilo of it? Uh, 10, 20 kilo. Well, I took a, I took a, something to, to pull it out, you know, while I pull, pull out all the, all the, 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 the what do you call it? That you know the thing that people smooth the the cement one. I just chop 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 pull out the thing, pull out the thing. Uncle too old, you know. So I just pull 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 out about twenty kilogram of muscle, and this one muscle very small. Then disgusting, uh. guys. Whoever is mad to think that you want to buy a yacht for retirement, uh, you are out of your freaking mind. The maintenance of the yacht will kill you, humanly speaking. You know how much muscle and barnacles you have to clean every day can die, okay? Yes. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, MM2H got loophole apply for Sarawak. I think they plugged that loophole already if I'm not wrong, okay? I heard, I read something about it. Yeah. Will you be able, will you be buying a Malaysian car and move to JB? Yes. That was top in my mind, okay? Yeah, I think I'm getting a Toyota Hilux. Big car, no? Fraction, <laughs> fraction of price in Singapore, okay? Yes. The rumor is that in two weeks, MM2H rules are going to go down. Uh, it's going to make it easy, okay? Mm. Mr. Lu, you are financially capable of retiring in Singapore. Why go to JB? Because JB life shook, man. Yeah, I enjoy JB life. I love it. And we got uh, relatives, close uh, family and relatives there as well, right? Mm. Do you know how big those houses are? How nice those houses are? How much space those houses are? Right? And how cheap those houses are? Yeah, okay. The latest house you look really old. With Sing Dollar 100,000 renovation, is it worth it? Taking consideration, uh, neighbor seems plenty for this. I don't understand your question, okay? My parents' house is burgled three times. So it depends where you stay. I understand Malaysia, there's a lot of these kind of cases. So I go and pick the one of the highest security place in the Malaysia already, yeah. So... Uh, is gated and guarded like super tight security. Yeah. Even better, yeah. Okay, even better. Uh, can share a TCM contact? Yes, I can share. Anybody wants my TCM contact, email me. I'll give it to you, okay? Yeah. Uh, which JB area near RTS? Not that near RTS, a bit further away. RTS there will be cluttered. Um, yeah. Do you like chewing gum? But I've got no. Uh, be friend with JB Southern, then nobody can touch you. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think I can. Uh -huh. If J house in JB need to declare IRAS, if I have a house in Singapore and JB, if I buy and uh, let's say I've got no house in, in Singapore, but if I buy a house, let's say if I sell my house and buy a house in Singapore, I'll kena ABSD, which by right, as it one hour ago will kill you, will kill me. Okay. 
so so that's that part is okay uh, but it's considered a second property uh, if you buy a, if you buy a Malaysia house in a, if you own a Malaysian house try to buy a Singapore house a second house you cannot ABSD okay mm. high lux top target for car theft is it I didn't know that okay uh, Honestly, I thought you would buy a MYVI for cheaper maintenance low key. I don't understand what's MY, MYVI, okay? Uh, do you use a scuba dive? Only scuba dive once in my life, okay? Uh, yep. Okay, so um, any other questions on Malaysia house, whatever you have, okay? Mm, mm, Jennifer, good to see you. Mm. Yes, I'm trying to get the ginseng tea. You gotta give me a minute, okay? Mm. Oh, Pado, oh, Pado, a uh, uh, Malaysian car. Well, I like Hilux. I thought like, but if Hilux is dangerous, then I'll try to get something else. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I uh, I'm a very good swimmer. Mm. Am I gonna walk again later today? I really today no no because I walk before I talk. Okay. So today my steps is already uh wait uh my my steps today already twenty five thousand steps so no need already why do you keep traveling uh, for work la yeah yep yeah so so you you uh uh the the key thing is that you know, if you want to buy a second property okay in Singapore uh your Malaysia house you consider the first one okay yes. My step today, 12K. Well done, okay? Which area in JB is the safest? Okay, um, there are quite a few areas, uh, not just one. Uh, the one I like is in the uh, Austin area. Yeah, Taman Austin. Any views of how Fed rates will go for next three? Everybody is betting that there will be a 25 basis point hike and this will be the last one, okay? Yeah, we'll see. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Lu. For your house hunting in Malaysia, purely for retirement, do you need a big house? Oh, share with you the concept, okay? It's largely more a retirement, uh, a holiday house, okay? Holiday house for my children and my grandchildren, a family gathering place, lots of space. My idea, my idea is that all the children and grandchildren will be there. I'm going to create a big, huge ass uh, TV for with PlayStation for them to play games or whatsoever. You know, uh, that's that's my thought, right? Uh, and then, uh, you know, from there we can go uh, hiking and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, I thought that's that's my idea. Okay, yeah. So, hmm, hmm just a thought. Yes. Okay. Uh, I I yeah. So th that's my thinking. Yeah. Uh, uh, do you, uh, someone say how much to engage a helper to clean my house? I think of those once a month, once a week one. Uh, so. Yeah, I'm not going to have lots of things, right? Okay, uh, yes. So, uh, I, uh, so ultimately, when I buy the house, I might not announce the house, okay? I might not announce the house, uh, so nobody knows where the house is whatsoever, right? Okay, mm, more privacy, yes. Projector instead of TV, I thought that as well. Uh, I don't know which one is better. I haven't... Haven't think so so far lah. Okay, consider Estaca maintenance fee is not that expensive. Ah. Come back. We move to Malaysia permanently. Won lah. Yeah, won lah. Not over my dead body. Yeah. So I want to have, have the best of both worlds. Uh, your you travel a lot now. How are you gonna fulfill the house fully? Uh, I'm not gonna travel a lot forever. Okay. It's okay. We friendly people can share with us. Don't narrow minded. We don't care. Mind. No, no. It's about privacy. Yeah. Just there's a lot of uh, a bit a bit dangerous. Uh, you know, just in case. Uh, okay. Landed don't need maintenance fee, but it's a gated and uh, guarded community. You need to pay some maintenance. Hundred over dollars. Hundred over ringgit. I think. Cleaner. Yes. Time to put firecrackers during fireworks. Yeah. The place Chinese New Year. Everybody. Bia, 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 fireworks up there. I thought it's illegal, but everybody's doing it. I'm not a big fan of fireworks, uh, so it's okay. Mm. Uh, a lot of, surprisingly, there's a lot of, there's a few, not a lot, there's a few Malaysian audience of 1865 are now writing to me and sharing with me 
uh, some Malaysian tips, you know. And I think it's uh, very interesting, right? So, so um, they share me some experience whatsoever. Uh, I would say that majority of them has very positive uh, attitude uh, towards uh, my idea. Mm, there are one or two that has been agreed. I think I want to dispel this myth uh, about crime rate in Malaysia. Yes, Malaysia crime rate is higher than Singapore. There's no doubt about that, okay? But Malay it's all relative, right? The Singapore is a nice place, a heavenly place uh, in terms of security, and we should we should all appreciate that. Children must grow up in Malaysia. Education is best there. But, okay, but, uh, you, but uh, Malaysia uh, is much safer than Europe. Europe is terrible. Europe is terrible. So I've been living in Europe for the last eight years. If I can survive in Europe, I'm very sure I can survive in JB. Yeah. In Europe, I walk 10 steps, I've got to look back once. Eh. I don't think I do that in Malaysia. In Malaysia, I just uh, went there, you know. At night, I walk around. Nobody seems to bother me, man. I, no, there's no risk at all. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I, I'm probably getting a two... Two story, two story one, uh, not three. A three story, I think, is a bit too far. And then you need a lift. I actually got robbed in JB before. I was in t shirt shorts, slippers with Casio watch, no ring, and so what did they rob you for? <laughs> okay. Hmm. And I and I think I think uh, I would say that I don't know about recent years. I think it's a lot less. Um, ten years ago is really wow wow west uh, wow wow west. Uh. I got I got relatives. Uh, one whole household, every single one of them had been robbed before. That was really bad. But that was 10, 15 years ago. That's really bad. Uh, Geek Root, when were you robbed before? Okay, I think in the recent five years, I think it's gone down tremendously, right? Mm. <laughs> okay, uh, apart from MM2H, any other option? I think... Yeah, okay, Geek Root said over 10 years ago, right? Yeah, that's, that, those days were really bad, okay? I think things have gotten a lot better. Um, about MM2H, I think if you just think, like me, uh, two, three days here, there, two days there, I don't think they care. But if you are planning to stay long one, then I think you need MM2H, okay? Uh, you don't only get pickpocket, but JB may get killed. That is true, okay? But I think uh, JB robberies uh, to the point of death uh, is uh i think is a lot less nowadays uh, uh, gang fights and all this yeah times have changed much in jb yeah okay yeah so so i i think there's a lot of myth uh, that everybody needs to wake up man you gotta go there and see yeah it's way better now than 10 over years ago okay yeah it's a lot better it's a different world right now yeah so how many of you how many of you have gone to Malaysia recently and still feel that uh, you know it was like 10 years ago dangerous or how some, how many of you uh, feel that it's safer or or no say is safer or worse any any comment i want to see okay safer or worse right any of you uh, safer or worse right 10 over years ago is really bad really bad okay yeah, it's safe. Keith say it's safer. Okay, mm. I say it's much safer. Uh, Jerry say in Malaysia, I ne I never locked our doors thirty years ago. People, people uh, that was thirty years ago. I don't say. Uh, Malaysia Realm say it's better now. Casey say it's better now. Jongi say it's better now. Exactly, those people who have a lot of comments are uh, never been there. Okay. Okay, safer but be alert. Yeah, of course, you don't do crazy things that go dangerous places. Yes, uh, we have seen all the announcement. yes, uh, about ABSD. Look at Gem. Look at Gem these days tells us that people are going over. Yeah, right. Exactly. Okay. All right, great. Okay, so interesting. So, as I talk about four must-have about retirement, as our planning for my retirement, Retirement planning takes decades, uh, by the way, okay? Do not just plan for money. Plan for plan for a lot more, uh, plan, for, plan for a lot more in health and fitness and vitality. Plan for good relationship. Plan for life challenge to continue even as you retire. Then the second thing we also talk a bit about is the ABSD that, that came out, okay? Suddenly there's a big impact. 
And last, okay, last uh, but not least is the, the Malaysian house uh, exciting hunt, you know. I'm, I really made a serious offer, okay. Uh, very, very good chance I will get the house, okay. Very, very good chance to get the house. It's a beautiful house, beautiful house. Enough for me to meet and it's not flaunting because... Uh, as I said, you know, major, majority of you guys can actually, not all, okay, quite a lot of Singaporeans can actually afford it. If you can't, if you can't afford it in, in buying it, you definitely can afford it in renting. Yeah, 1,000 Singapore dollars, huh? you can rent the whole house really. Yeah, okay. All right, good, okay. Uh, yes, thank you, thank you, okay. Um, and I can share more about my life. This is an option that's open for everybody to think about your retirement okay an option i'm not saying that this is the best got low ball or not wow this is subjective uh. i try to low ball uh. yeah everybody kick me out of the house <laughs> can you go and get bargain yeah Malaysia not that good yeah but except that area that particular area i buy is freaking out is damn expensive and every time i low ball a few days later someone bought the house mother okay hmm all right good okay Thank you everybody for watching and I'll talk to you uh, again uh, hopefully tomorrow, okay? Yeah, I think tomorrow will surely go live because there's a big topic. Okay, yeah, Austin price is stable. That's the problem, man. Yeah, yes. Okay, thank you. Right? Thank you guys. Good night everybody, okay? Good night. Really appreciate you guys joining me. David, uh, uh, Abraham, thank you, okay? Yes, thank you everybody, okay? All right, guys. Good night. Okay. Good night, everybody. Okay. Have a great. Yeah. Okay. Have a great night. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate this. Thank you.